Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's beautiful Monday morning, 25th of April, TA video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin. I have some amazing charts. Watch the video till the end because always at the end, they have some surprise charts. But let's jump into the first one right now and then. Now, uh, my face can be a little bit smaller like that. Beautiful. This, of course, is um, the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, you can see the bam bam indicator, and we can see that over here, I need to draw, maybe you see it better than there. That was a short call, and the short call was already at this point over there. And when it turned yellow over there, that was the moment we got a huge drop. It was like, now you need to be really in that short. And that short um, would be, let's say we take it um, till now, we would still be in because we just woke up a 6% short without leverage. With leverage, of course, a bigger short. Now, again, on the four hour, there was a long call over there. So that was on this candle. We normally take the longs when we close a candle above the yellow stepping line. We didn't close it above yet, so that wouldn't be a short long because there is a lot of yellowish and bluish. The moment this turns green, that would be a confirmation for the long for me, and then I would take it, for example, up to one of these Fibonacci levels. So that is how the band works for our, and it doesn't look bullish. It looks a little bit bearish because um, we can see there's a lot of blue and yellowish over there, and we can see the bam bam line. Look, the white line is crossing, low, uh, going down, sorry, and the blue line is not crossing that white line. So this is a bearish situation, so we can expect Bitcoin to go even a little bit lower, and maybe to this green level over here of 38,500. And if you zoom out then to the day channel, we can see that we were talking last week about this kind of um, channel. We were moving inwards, up, down, up, down. And we broke that. We broke that orange line. And we are now testing that green box bottom again. And we have been testing that green box bottom now already like we are fighting and testing it since uh, January. So this green box is an important box. If we break that green box and the bottom of the green box is 38,500, exactly the level I showed you on the previous chart, uh, then we can see some more drama in the market and then we can see some more Bitcoin falling. Um, this candle, this red one that we see at the moment, is going to close in 17 hours uh, or 18 hours almost. Um, can we pump? and come above that 40k level again and close inside that orange area. Yes, Bitcoin can do everything, but it's Monday. So uh, let's see how Bitcoin wakes up and uh, what we will see this week. Um, more important for me is the bigger time frame. So that's the monthly chart. And on the monthly chart, I've been showing you guys <clears throat> blue line and orange line. The blue line is the important support. The blue line is exactly at 38,800. So we are above that line. But on the monthly, we need to close above this one. And that one closes in 5 days and 18 hours. So in 5 days and 18 hours, on the 1st of May, I want this candle to be above that blue line. If this candle is down below that blue line, yes, then that red bottom line of the logarithmic growth curve, 33,000 US dollar, is in play but let's see if this candle is going to close above the blue line or below it and or maybe even above the orange line in bitcoin you never know but then we need to go above 44k if you look at this one here the rsi we can see the downward line and we try to break it but every time we find resistance here we try to break it and again resistance um, there will be of course a moment that we break it because if you look back in history like for example this area over here we had the same and then some point that you break it however you draw this one you can even draw it like this um if you prefer then here you break it and when you break it you go up so this happens many times 
every time again um, it is important now that we break that level on the rsi and that's also what you see in the macd we are still pretty red we had a cross of the blue to the uh, uh, on the red line this blue line needs to cross the red line up again and then we will turn green now that's how simple it is <clears throat> well it is not always simple of course guys now if you want to trade all of this then use the links down below the video because it's up to eleven thousand dollar deposit bonuses if you use bybit or femex and um, just use the links down below because um, you get up to four thousand one hundred bonus in bybit 30 percent fee discount and much more just check the links guys now i understand that a lot of you guys are now like oh my god that trading i i, I always sell on the wrong moments i always buy on the wrong moments it just doesn't work out because um, trading is something that you need to do a lot of hours a day to make profits and you need to do a lot of uh, practice to make profits so for those that have just a normal job and think to be able to trade like in between that's like almost impossible guys so all you use indicators like the bam bam indicator that will help you on the four hour on the one hour or you use automated trading and if we are talking about automated trading and um, then we could look for example at the family bot and the one that we use is let's see this one over here the bitcoin family uh, pro bot um if you go to the website the bitcoin family you will find it here at products and then the family pro bot you will find uh, all the information you will find how to connect your buy bit and you will find how to add it. sorry second bot uh, of course it all starts by filling this form uh, to get access to the bot and why do you want to get access to the bot now um, i want to show you that over here uh, these are the results of the last Let's do it like this over there. So my face is a little bit more. Uh, closed profits and losses in the last couple of trades. Um, now check. This is the last trade, of course, over there. And then you see the trade before. Sometimes there's a long time between the trades because the bot needs to close it. Sometimes it's like a daily, a few. Um, for example, this one here was a big trade. So it's an $800 trade. I think if you sum these up, I think it was in total a 0 0.03 bitcoin and profit which is um yeah which is around twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollar so that was a nice profit this one was running mostly with uh, two bitcoins so um let's see every month an average of three to four percent yes i can go a lot of pages back this is uh, you can see here um 27th of march till the 22nd of march and um, you will only see green I'm, I'm skipping now the pages, but you will only see uh, green closes because the bot only closes trades and profit. It doesn't close trades and loss because that would mean liquidation. And that has never happened before in this bot liquidation. And even backtrack to 2009, it would have never happened before. So for me, I don't freak out on the minute charts anymore. I let my bot do that. My capital is working for me. I don't want to be working for the capital. So, um, that is how i look at short-term trading i will leave it to automated trading because i fully trust it and i've been trading for over a year with this one and it is always in profit now um, if you want to zoom out a little bit then you look at these charts over here now this is the first one let's see um what do you see on this chart something very important because we have never seen this before normally at the bull run tops, for example, this is a bull run top over here, we see a lot of Bitcoins flowing into the exchanges, that green area, that is the bull run top. Here again, 2017, 18 bull run top, we saw a massive amount of Bitcoins flowing into the exchanges. That is happening because the people move their Bitcoins to the exchange to be selling their Bitcoins. Because if there is a bull on top, people want to sell and take profit. That is clear, I hope. <clears throat> now, people are calling that we already saw the top at the moment. And that we are in the bear market and that we are going to 15k. I am not believing that. And yes, you can say, yeah, Didi is always bullish, bullish here, bullish here. But the charts show me something different. They showed me mixed feelings. Like you can see uh, on the monthly and the weekly, it's not always positive. But if you look at this, for example, this chart, 
if that would have been a bull on top, then where is this massive inflow to the exchanges of people that want to sell? It is not there. These two tops in the current cycle showed that people were taking away the bitcoins from the exchanges. There's a red area. This moves from the exchanges. So there is no people taking profit because they don't believe that this is the top. They believe that we will still see a blow of top after this one, between now and, and the end of this year probably. And then you will see this massive green spike again to the exchanges of people that want to sell. Just like you saw here in between. This small bump. That were people moving the bitcoins to the exchanges to be able to take profit. But at the moment, only people are taking away their bitcoins, a massive amount. And if you are calling for 15k, then I really like Bitcoin's uh, the Plan B uh, tweet today because he was exactly telling um, what people were saying. Now, guys, if you want to see a 15k Bitcoin, then that blue dot would need to be there. That's a 15k Bitcoin. And if the blue dot wants to be there, and you look to the left of that blue dot, then show me one moment that the blue dot was with that huge distance below the green dots. Even below the green or the black line. You can't. You can't. So this is, in my opinion, just strange as the market has changed in tremendously and we have more and more institutions and billionaires and countries adopting bitcoin as the bitcoin standard and hodling the bitcoin they don't buy for the short term but for the long term i don't see this happening a blue dot that far below the green dots and the gray and the black line Yes, we can touch that black line, and that black line at the moment is a 200 week moving average, is above 21k, above the previous all time high. This here, this red dot, was the previous all time high. We are above it. So, biggest drama would drop to that level. I also don't see that happening. I still want to see that uh, last push above 70 to maybe 100k, then I think that the black and the gray line will have been coming up to that 30k to the 40k level, and that is the area that we could fall back to, in my opinion. But let's see, you know, we can't predict the future, but we can analyze the past, and the past tells us um, that these huge drops to that blue level are not going to happen. Now, that was really everything for today. Yes, a little bit longer than I can than normally, but I didn't do a video on Saturday and Sunday. Yes, my voice is still a little bit gone, <clears throat> from the speaking on the events and all that stuff that that's why i didn't make videos the last two days but i hope you really enjoyed to this video if you did enjoy today's video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment check the bitcoin family world tell me what you like my head and everything else <laughs> i hope you have a beautiful monday i wish you an amazing week and uh, yes i'm going to continue making some walk and talk videos because yes i'm getting sick of looking at the prices every day and from the meetups the feedback was the feed back was uh, Didi, you should do more of these walk and talk videos because that's more your style and that's um, you know um, who you are so let's see now today that was this video uh, tomorrow is another day i wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again bam